Hi guys, Larry Feldman again. In this lesson we're going to look at branching within a uh, Python program. And we're going to look at branching by writing a, uh, a game. And the game is pretty straightforward. The computer generates a random number between 1 and 100 and the user attempts to guess the number. And if the guess is higher than the computer's number, the computer will tell the user that they need to be lower. And if the guess is lower, the computer will say the number or the guess has to be higher, etc. Um, in addition, the, uh, the game will keep track of the number of attempts and it will um, display the number of of attempts at the end of the game. So it's a pretty uh, pretty straightforward game, but it does illustrate a couple of uh, branching techniques within Python. So as we discussed, let's write a few comments. Guessing game, name, and date. And then we need to import something called random. And, you know, again, this is just a library that allows us to use code that's already been written so that uh, we don't have to start from scratch. And now we can, now we can jump into um, the, the meat of the code here. Let's, let's print to the screen. I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 100. Print. Try to guess the number. OK, now we um, want to put in a comment, set the initial value and we'll say that the computer's number equals random dot rand int 1 to 100 <clears throat> excuse me 1 to 100 and this is a um, as I said, this is a built-in function that is part of this random library, and it will return a number uh, or an integer between 1 and 100. So the computer knows, knows the value, and it's called the underscore number. Then we need to prompt the user to take a guess. So we say guess equals input or integer input take a guess and we initialize a variable called tries to be one in other words uh, the person has not taken a guess yet but when they do the number of attempts is initialized to one or starts at one so now we get into um, the guessing loop, which we will indicate with a comment. And we are going to introduce a, um, a loop called the while loop. And I'm going to explain it as we go along. While guess does not equal. So the exclamation point next to the equal sign means not equal. While the guess that the user inputs is not equal to the computer's number, we fall into this loop. Okay, If the guess is greater than the computer's number, we need to print to the screen lower.
if the guess is less than the number, we print higher. We're telling the user that they have to guess higher. And then we need to get another attempt from the user. So we say guess equals int, basically the same, same line that we have up here. Let's just copy and paste that. And then we increment the number of tries by one. So notice the variable tries, the new the new value of tries equals the old value plus one. We've incremented tries by one. Now notice down here we're going to print you you guessed it the number was whatever the uh, computer generated and then we're going to print it took you tries Actually, we're going to simplify this a little bit. It took you, but the number of tries was tries. And so it's going to substitute whatever the variable value was for tries in this spot right here. So let's save it and run it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the computer says, think you have a number from 1 to 100, try to guess the number, take a guess. It's logical to start in the middle. It says lower, so we let's cut it in half. Etc. So the number was 22 and it took six tries. Let's run it again. Run, run module. Let's do the same strategy. Number was 82. 82 at 6 it took 6 tries. So um this is a pretty straightforward game but it illustrates um how to do branching uh, pretty pretty well. Um we've covered the the if statement quite a bit in this class but uh, I don't believe we covered the while statement and it it's very useful and just to go over it again while the guess is wrong we fall into this into this block here where we keep guessing we keep incrementing the number of tries and the computer gives us hints but as soon as the guess is correct if the guess is correct and you're at this at this point you do not fall into the block you jump right here print you guessed that the number was whatever the number was um, if you guessed the number on the first try, then it would say you guessed that the number was whatever it was, and the number of tries would be one. So um, pretty straightforward example, but I think it illustrates the concepts very well, and uh, that's it for now. Thanks.